definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Ball at point with Rozier next to him. That's the backcourt. Mason Plumley out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Hardaway in at the three. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Here's Ball. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Clock at six. Up and over Richardson. Hardaway, no good. Hardaway's gotten only two of his eight attempts from the floor. Pass to Williams. And here's Cantor. Here's the Cobra. Hounded by ball. Hardaway comes with a double. They get it back. Cantor. And that one's good with extra and effort on the glass. Center. They really have a commanding lead. Not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Ball passes to Bridges. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist in this one. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone down. The Cobra can't hit. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Booknight. Now here's Hardaway. Off target from three-point range. Here's the Cobra. Hounded by ball. Here's the Cobra. On the wing, Richardson. Nails it from three. You have to show more effort defensively. Everyone knows he can do that from deep. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of making that happen, Grant. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and... Here's the Cobra, pounded by Rozier. And it's good! He hits another one! His offensive arsenal has been on full display all season long. By the way, now tied for third place in points in a single season. Outside Hardaway. Shot from 12. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. The Celtics have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Here's the Cobra. Oh, another one falls. All season long, he has been absolutely dominant. The scoring doesn't end with him. Boy, he's already left his mark on history as he now moves into third place for most points in a season. Just amazing. Rozier can't get it to go. And here's Boston. They've outscored him 10-2 during this run. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Pass to Hardaway. Jacks up a three. Doesn't go that time. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can Terry see the ball go through the net. Third. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. And the Celtics making a change here. Canner's checked in for Williams. Fernando comes in for Jason Tatum. Neesmith, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Rozier gets the bucket. And what a complete oh, performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Celtics. When you look at the stat sheet, it's impressive this wasn't a total blowout. Their offense was in top gear all night long. I thought the And good! There's another! 50 points for him yet again, and I feel privileged to watch him go to work this season. Well, now he has pulled even for the second most 50-point games in a single season. What a year. You know, I really like this. Instead of putting his head down, Terry Rozier keeping his eyes up and finding his open teammate. 
Here's the Cobra, hounded by Rozier. And another one! <laughs> this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Pass to Awandu. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, good whistle there. What? All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. The Hornets making a switch here. Ball's checked in. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Takes the three. And it's Cantor with a rebound. It's hard not to want payback when you give up a three at the other end. But it can force you to rush things. Out left to the wing. Pass to the Cobra. Six to shoot. Fades back. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. What a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And so it's Austin easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Denise, MP is here. I need a couple minutes with him, but I gotta call John Luck. So why don't you move my 11 o'clock to 11.15? Move my 11.15 to noon. Bump my lunch to next Wednesday. Move my 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Oh, call my husband. Tell him I'm going to be late. And then bump up my 1.30 by 15, but add a quick chat with Harvey in its place. Oh, and happy birthday! Yo, what? You, you gotta be tired of talking to people all day. I love it. And by the way, some of those people talking are starting whispers of the name MP and the phrase Rookie of the Year. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard some of that. Look, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Obviously, it's not in the bag yet, but the powers that be let me know that they want me to set up an interview with you and John Luck. Okay. Your play is going to be doing most of the talking, but an interview like that might raise your profile and get those whispers a little louder. What do you think? Of course, man. Look, winning Rookie of the Year, that would be amazing. So anything I can do to help, I'm there. Great. I'll set up an interview with John Luck and send you the details as soon as I have them. Cool. Keep up the good work. Now get out. There she is. <laughs> See you later, Miss Hanover. See you later. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. We've got the Cobra. Jason Tatum is out there with Neesmith. And it's Conchar in at the shooting guard position. That's the Boston Five. Knocks it loose. The pass to the Cobra. There's the triple. And no good. And it's Detroit the other way. Here's Cunningham. And then Cunningham with the dunk. Hey, yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Outside Tatum. Pass to the Cobra. For three. Good, and it 
It's Tatum picking up the assist. The Cobras got 38 points. Number seven. Late Four. reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage, grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Hey, no good. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Following this one, they get to host them. And good! Nothing there's another. And once again, he's hit the 40 mark as he has been nothing short of stellar all season long. And now he has moved into third all-time for most 40-point games in a single season. Well, Jordan was able to put up 40 points an incredible 37 times Real. back in 87, but that mark has been passed. What a special year. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers hey, they've caused. And, and also, how about the points they've got in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of game. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for low management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Conchar, the pass to the Cobra. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, great outside shooting. Number really fueling this run. The Pistons have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Cunningham kicks to Lyles. Hayes dishes to Cunningham. Back to Hayes. Clock at six. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Williams, he's checked in for Tatum. And Detroit with a change here, too. Langston Galloway's checked in for Cunningham. Celtics passing it around. Again, what an avalanche! And you know what him reaching 50 points means. He's moved up another spot. Yep, the second spot, Greg, is his alone now for most 50-point performances in a year. And with the 31st game of 50 points or more, he is now second on the 50-point list. Will had 30 games in the 63 campaign, but it's a long way to go to the top spot of 45. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Now here's Hayes. D right on him. And the foul called on the Cobra. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. You doing John? All right, uh, MP. You know, look, I know you're busy, so thanks for taking the time to sit down with me. You've really made an impression this season, and I know our readers would love to learn more about you. Hey, look, of course. Look, I'm happy to take time out for the fans. Great, great. So, first up, uh, what's it been? What's been the biggest change in your life since joining the NBA?
you know, I got to say it's, it's, it's mostly the off-court stuff. I mean, you seen me play, John. That on-court transition, that's been smooth. But what's the difference is, is I got all this money now, all these opportunities, and I just feel blessed. And I hope that we'll be able to take advantage that not enough time in the day. All right, let's talk about that. What type of opportunities are you talking about? Okay, well, look, I, I used to have to post every day to get this money. Now, brands, they just hitting me up, throwing stacks at me just to post on the gram. I got rappers hitting me up to hop in the studio. It's just a lot of different directions I can go with this now. It's a lot. A lot of people can't imagine professional athletes with interests outside of the sport they play, but what's your main interest when you're not focused on basketball? Well, you know, music is my other great love besides basketball. So I'm trying to get my hand into that game. And if I can help put artists on, help put some love out for my city, then I'm definitely going to represent. Not trying to count any chickens before they hatch here, but there's even been talk about you uh, in the MVP race, which is truly remarkable for a rookie. I'm sure you know that. How does that make you feel? Hey, I just take that as a reflection of the team's success. And if we weren't winning games, I wouldn't be getting mentioned in these conversations. So I'm, I'm humble that folks think of me that way. But I'm focused on getting ready for these playoffs and not winning individual awards for the regular season, to be honest with you. Well, MP, this has been a bunch of fun for me, and I'm sure the fans are going to love learning more about you. Hey, anytime, John. I appreciate the good questions, man. Of course. Thanks for the time. I'll see you around, bud. Okay, bud.